name is Bruno Souza and I'm known as the Brazilian Java man. I, I work with uh, software developers, Java developers speci specifically, um, helping them uh, improve their careers and take responsibility for their projects. One of the things that I do most is work with DevOps teams to get their, their projects uh, under control and in the clouds. Everything I run today, I run in the cloud, right? At, at Tools Clouds, we run a, a, a large suite of tools that help developers uh, move their workload to the cloud. So we, we have a set of tools uh, to do continuous integration, continuous deployment, so developers can take control of the deployment process and implement uh, DevOps uh, uh, techniques in their projects. Since we run everything in the cloud, we experiment all the time with cloud vendors. Uh, we run things in AWS, we run things in Azure, uh, we do have things uh, in, other, in other cloud vendors too. Um, and you know, uh, uh, every, every time that we, we experiment with the cloud, uh, usually what we, you get is uh, virtual machines, right? You get, you get this, uh, uh, you know, it can be sophisticated virtual machines, it can be uh, very large virtual machines, all kinds of things. But the thing is, uh, we are responsible to manage the whole thing, right? We are responsible to manage the OS, to install uh, what needs to be there. We're responsible to, uh, uh, you know, actually, if, even if you want to increase a machine, for example, usually you have to stop it and increase it. Uh, and then, you know, so, so we, we are, we are, although we're running things in the cloud, we're responsible to manage the infrastructure all the time. And that's the thing that kind of slows us down, right? Because every time we have to manage the infrastructure, every, every time we have to worry about what machine is running where, uh, that means that I have to think about it, I have to automate things, and I have to, to plan for all these. And uh, so one of the things that we, are, we moved our workload to Gelastic was that it really allowed us to not think about it, those things, right? So we don't think about virtual machines anymore, we don't think about servers, we actually don't even think about where things run, right? We just kind of start our application, we put, put our containers uh, um, in Gelastic Cloud, and you know, we let the cloud handle itself, right? So we don't have to worry about where things are running, we don't have to worry about um, OSs, we don't have to worry about you know, managing servers, right? And I think that's one of the biggest things that we have uh, in terms of, 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 the, of cloud today, right? You know, people are talking about serverless those days, right? And th th that's what we want, right? We w really want to have our applications running uh, without thinking about servers anywhere. And, and although serverless is something that's, that we, we think more about functions in the cloud, right? We actually have legacy applications that we're running. We have, uh, you know, applications that have been, that have been developed for, for, you know, a decade already, and they're not functions. They are like real, full-blown applications. And we need the same abilities of not thinking about servers, but, you know, for those applications that already exist. One of the things that I, I love to say to Java developers is that, uh, you know, right now, the, the most important thing that they should be doing for deploying their applications, thinking about containers, right? So, so you know, uh, when, you, when you, you shift your mindset to not think about servers anymore, not think about virtual machines anymore, and think about containers, kind of encapsulating your application to be run anywhere, that gives you a, a level of freedom that is unique, right? Because now you can really think about running your application anywhere that it needs to run, right? You don't have to think about, um, you know, you, you, once your applications are containerized, once your applications are actually separated uh, inside, inside independent uh, uh, containers, you are free from which vendor you're going to run. You're free from which platform you, you're going to run. And so that's the thing that I, that I love more about Gelastic, is that Gelastic allows me to think all the time in container. Right? I don't have to think about um, applications uh, as, 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 you know, oh, I have this application going to install in a server. Right? You know, in Gelastic, everything is containers. Uh, the whole platform has been built on, on top of containers from, 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 from the start, right? So everything that I do in Jelask is always thinking about containers. And that really allows me to think about my applications as separate pieces and, and I can just put it to run. And to be very honest, uh, Jelask doesn't, doesn't lock me in, not even to Jelastic, right? What's very important because, uh, you, know, being, you know, the freedom of leaving gives me the, uh, the ability to choose to stay. Right? And so uh, I think this, this, is, this is very important for Gelastic. One interesting thing about, uh, I was talking with Ruslan the other day, and one interesting thing about is that um, you, know, you, 
you get, when you start thinking about your, your scalability, you want, you want to grow uh, your application, then you start to think about, you know, how, how large can I, how large do I need to put this machine, right? How big can this reach? How, how many people are going to run this thing, right? So it's like, and then you start, you start to think about, you start to worry about, am I provisioning enough? Am I, you know, am I paying? And, and was, well, if I provision too much, I'm going to pay too much even if, if, if people are not using it. And so the cool thing about Gilles is that I can just say, well, let's imagine that lots of people start using it. I can just kind of, I can just say how much I want, right? And I know I'm not going to be charged for what I want. I'm going to be charged for what I actually use, right? So even if I say I want, you know, this huge resource, right, very, very big, and if I never use it, I'm not going to be charged for it. So it gives me the freedom to actually say, I, I can handle anything, right? And so, you know, and, and we were discussing this the other day because uh, he was showing me this graphic of how much resources is, is um, uh, people choose and how much is actually allocated. And once you have the freedom to say, I can grow that much, I can really put like, you know, much larger than what I really need, right? Because I'm, I know I'm not gonna pay for that. So the, the, the ability to only pay for what I use gives me totally peace of mind. I know I'm never gonna run out of resources, right? Because my, you know, my limits are way above anything I'm gonna ever use. And if you do the same thing in a normal cloud provider, you're gonna be paying for that, right? You're gonna be paying for these use limits. So you always have to be thinking, am I using the, the, the things in the right way? On Jelastic, I just put as much as I think I'm gonna need, or even larger than I think I'm gonna need, and then Gelast takes care of just charging me for what I actually use. Well, Gelast gives me peace of mind. I think there's, you know, actually, um, I think that should be the Gelast tagline, right? peace of mind for developers, right? You know, I, I put my application there, and things just run, and, um, and that's, that's one thing. But the one interesting thing is that, uh, the support team behind Elastic is such an amazing support team, right? Uh, you know, so all the time that I had problems, we were actually not understanding how to use the platform the right way, or I had, uh, you know, issues of uh, not knowing how to port my application uh, into the Elastic, for example, or, or not knowing how to containerize my application the right way. You know, they're always there to help me out. So really, peace of mind for developers, I think, is a, is a, is a good tagline.